Hi everyone, welcome to VLSA Expo with Raman. Today, let's discuss one interesting PC interview question. Let's discuss the question. Downstream port has four lanes. Started sending n link number and pair lane numbers on all the lanes. Our root port has four lanes. It started sending n link number and pair lane numbers on all the lanes. Upstream port lanes. 1 to 3 received and responded while lane 0 didn't receive and send any training sequence. Now, what is the link width configured? Let's see here. This is downstream port. It has a 4 lanes 0, 1, 2, 3. It's sending training sequence. Link name as a n pad on all the lanes. But this upstream port received 1, 2, 3. This 3 lanes only it received the data and reflected the same training sequence. But 0th lane is not working. Maybe some design issue. This 0th lane is not working. Now, downstream port need to configure the link width. What is the link width now? Link width, the downstream port will not configure any link width. See here, 0th lane itself not working. Link width need to be configured from 0th lane. 0 to n, it need to configured by the down root port will configure. 0 to n. Here, 0th lane itself not working. Then, downstream port will not configure the any link width. Now, let's consider another case. 0, 1, these two lanes are working. Second lane is not working. This upstream port is reflected the data. Zeroth lane is reflected and one, three. These three lanes are sended by our upstream port. But this second lane is not sending and not received any data. At that time, downstream port will configure the zero and one. Because see here, the downstream port need to connect from zeroth lane. 0 to n. It need to configure 0, 1. If you like the content, please share and subscribe.